then and we're back with the Christmas stocking. Um, I'm still waiting for the wool to come because the grey was just a little bit of an issue just getting hold of the grey. So what I thought I'd do is I'd move on to doing some of the snowflakes myself and I've had quite a lot of success with it. So it really does bring to life the background of this lovely snowy scene on the Christmas stocking. So I'd just like to share with you how I've been doing it. Right, as you can see, I've done the normal couch there and I've come up beside it, come up and across so that equal size nearly. It's in double wool again, just the same. And then what I'm going to do is do two more little tiny ones next to it, like this. And then go the other way. And there we have a little snowflake. Not quite as pretty as the other ones. So that thing that Katie says, when you're doing it on, on camera, it's never as good. But it's such a simple little thing to do. I think I might do another one. I'm going to see if I can make this one neater than the last one. Here's that thing on camera. Everything goes a little bit wonky donkey, doesn't it? So there we've done the cross. And then we come up here and do another little cross here. Oops, I don't want to go through the wall and spoil it. <laughs> and then another little cross going the other way. And there we have our snowflake. And if you look here, I've done quite a few on here. And I'm quite pleased with them because they do look very snowy and very Christmassy. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think when we get this, this cloud finished here with the, the white and the greys, light greys in here, I think that's going to look really, really nice. Well, I hope you have fun putting the snowflakes onto your Christmas stocking and hopefully by the time we come back next week, we'll be doing um, something else. I think we're moving our frame and we'll be looking at doing some of the leaves. So speak to you later. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye.